guys, Jennifer here. I'm so excited to show you this gorgeous kit from Shabby Dabby Doodah. It's called Blossom Blush. And I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my gosh, she created a pink kit just for me. Yeah, right. <laughs> just gorgeous. I think that it's amazing that she um, can put together such a gorgeous kit. And so quickly, it seems probably not but it seems like it and there's so much content for the price that she has and it's so good i just am amazed so anyway let me show you i can't remember how many background pages but there's quite a bit so let me go ahead and share this with you they're so pretty i love this floral gorgeous the nice thing about the background pages is you can either use them for collage, you can use them for pages in your journal, or you, you know, cut stuff out, fussy cut some of the things out. These are gorgeous though. I just think it's perfect. It's so pretty. Just give you a quick flip through. Oops. Guys, my desk is like an avalanche waiting to happen here. You know, when you start creating, you get everything out and then it piles up on your desk and it just keeps on piling up. So, okay, that's the background pages. And then you have the ephemera, which is so amazing. Look how gorgeous that is. So many things to use and oh my gosh, like I could make so much with this. I love the postcards. Aren't those pretty? I love how it's like tans and grays, pale pinks kind of a lilac shade of pink or a purpley pink. It's really pretty. Very cool. I love these little baby pieces of ephemera because I love to make little envelopes and little goodies. You need something small to tuck in there. I love that. Super cool. Pretty envelope too. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with this. I really am. This frame is so pretty. I love these little, like, Baroque frames. And tags and pockets and journaling cards. Love these. This cute little ticket you can write something on there. Oh, and I love these flowers. I can't wait to make something with those. Mm-hmm. Look at all these flowers. So pretty. I made several sheets of these because I was like, I did three. <laughs> three of those. And then this was the last page. So you can use those for a journaling page or you can fold them, put them in an envelope. All kinds of stuff. So anyway, that is the Bl Blossom Blush kit. Yeah, and I am putting together a design team project for Shabby Dabby Duda. I am using the tutorial that Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventure put together. It is going to be a ring binder journal. I have not made one of these before, but I started making it last night. Now that you've seen the papers, I want to show you that I have added some to the interior page, some of the interior and exterior pages. So I have the front and the inside. I think I might use this for the front. I'm not 100% sure. I was also thinking I could use this for the front. Since it has a nice collage, I could do this for the front, this for the interior, and then this for the back. So that was, I haven't 100% decided which one I want for the front. So uh, this was made with some, I 
think some heavy chipboard. And then I did two interior pages with the medium weight chipboard. And I folded over some of Tina's papers onto the medium weight chipboard. And I think it's so beautiful. I love this. It's called Blossom Blush. Love this collection here. And so these two will be on the interior. And of course, I haven't done any decorating yet, but that is going to be so much fun. I had this bag in one of my drawers, and I decided to go ahead and create a page. So that'll be a page in there. Then I had this old bag um, that I think I had received something in. And I'm going to use this one as a page. It will be covered with some of her papers, so you won't be able to see most of it. I'll probably be collaging this one. And then I'm also using this bag from Denise at A Tattered Dream. She had um, these bags, and I wasn't sure if I was going to make that an open page or if I was going to sew this. I might do that and make some inserts for these. So that'll be fun. So I wanted to show you where I was at right now. And then I will be coming back and creating more pages. I want to do like um, some envelope pages and some fold outs with some journaling pages in it. So I'm super excited to create this. I want to do some mixed media in here and uh, we'll take you along on the journey. Hey guys, so I am back and I have printed out three more sheets of this beautiful paper, these digitals from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. And um, what I'd like to do is make some three inserts for this journal that I showed you earlier. And what I was thinking was doing uh, just like Wendy did, where she folded it over and then left about an inch here and then punched her holes there. Then these would be three places to put some tea dyed papers for journaling and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. I need so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down to nine and a half by seven and a quarter. All right, so now I have these three pages that I have cut down to size and then I folded it over and left an inch here so you can see that will fit within the journal cover just perfectly okay so I have two going this way And they will open out like this, and then I will put the journal pages inside. The writing journal pages, you know, so that can be used as a journal. The cool thing about these three ring binder ones, which this is the first time I've done it, I've created something similar like this as a mini album, but not a journal. And uh, this one will go out this way, but once you, what's cool is that you can take this out, you can add more pages, you know. Um, it offers a lot of flexibility. So that's that. I've got these three pages, and what I'm going to work on next is adding the holes and creating some reinforcements. So now that these are, I printed these on cardstock. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but this pretty heavy duty paper from Red River. It's uh, one of their thick ones. Now these, I, I just did regular Red River, the, the real thin paper uh, on top of this. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna make the reinforcements now. 
Let's see. I was thinking I could use some Edith Holden book pages for that. Well, I'm not sure. I do have some leftovers that I cut off from this paper, but I'm not sure if that's wide enough. So I'm gonna grab the Edith Holden book pages. All right, guys, so I tried the Edith Holden book pages. As much as I love these, it just doesn't go with this. So I will fix many of those. And I cut out some paper uh, that I had some misprints on. And this is on the thick cardstock, so this will be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and fold these in half and then attach them here. I wasn't sure if you'd want to see this part, so I'm just going to show you this one part. I'm just going to glue this on here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. This will be reinforced, kind of like a reinforcement here. Alright guys, so next up I'm going to do a little bit of gesso on all of the pages. Just a very light wash over the pages just to kind of give it some texture a little bit. It's hard to tell because I'm not adding a whole lot, but I just think it looks good. Kind of a, kind of had some of a part of a tropical storm, just kind of the remnants of it, but pretty bad storm this afternoon. It looked great this morning. Um, got home from church and it just was like, whoa, crazy. Now, I haven't put my grommets in, or what do you call eyelets? I will be doing that next. I just wanted a little bit of gesso on here. So I'm going to do that to all of the pages. Okay, guys, so I've pulled out some stencils that I might want to play with here. This is the Crafter's Workshop stencil. And then I have this one from Art Anthology, Cracked, I think it's called. And then I have some Prima stencils. I pulled out the doilies and then this one because it's small. I thought we'd have a go with that. So let's start with this one. And let me grab some of this texture paste. It is white crackle. By Finnevar and it is art extravagance. Okay, so my other one unfortunately dried out. I was so bummed. But it was pretty close to the bottom anyway. Not a big deal. All right, just add a little bit, so let's see, okay. here. 
pretty. I love it so far. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry over here. And let's see. I really want to wash this right away. But let's do these other pages real quick. All right. I kind of like the crackle one. I can't see it. Move this up a little bit. Okay. Don't need that much. that dry and then let's do this one here I think I'm gonna do now you don't have to switch it up I was just switching it up just to have a little bit of fun okay so let's see this is gonna open that way all right this one I might want to be a little bit more precise with. Let's see. that dry for a little bit and then um, we'll be back to decorate uh, some more and also incorporate some of the envelopes that I have gathered for this project. Thanks for joining me and I'll be back with part two. <laughs> 